Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the 13th through the 19th. This is for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now typically my readings are love readings, so we'll just see whatever comes up. Now keep in mind that this reading may not be yours, okay? I have to say that because we always get some, some foolish individuals that don't realize that, okay? Not every reading is yours, okay? If you have to question it, then it's not. Act now, think later. What the hell? Is this like the third time this has happened for you guys? Take action? I What is going on? I, I'm pretty sure this is like the third time. The last two readings were similar, but it start, had this uh, energy. Action is needed. Somebody needs to take some serious action here. And that's the truth. But I'm afraid to grow old alone. <laughs> I don't want to be lonely. What if I don't find somebody? What if I don't, what if I take action and, you know, I, I live in loneliness for the rest of my life? There's a lack of listening to your intuition, a loss of self keeping secrets, you know, maybe on the inside, you're dying anyway, where you're at on the inside, there's a lot of emptiness, there's, you know, there is, you know, this is about acting with integrity, it's about doing the right thing for you, broadening your horizons, perhaps going down a new path, take action, go down a new path, find your focus and your concentration to do the right thing for you, You're dealing with a player. You're dealing with somebody that is not balanced. Somebody that um, has a lot of chaos in their life and they're bringing it on to you. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is somebody who is lazy, self-centered. I mean, in reverse, this person has no energy. They have no passion, you know. This person has low self-esteem, low energy. Maybe it's you taking on this or you're dealing with this person. This person is very, very selfish, self-centered, lazier than hell. But you're wearing a mask. You can see through that veil, right? You can see it. You see it clearly. You do. But you're still keeping the mask on. Even though you see it, you choose not to see it. You choose not to see through it, even though you do see through it. I mean, she can see through that veil. And she could choose to put it down at any time. All she has to do is drop those swords down and that veil comes off. Off. But she's holding it up there. She's holding it up there because she's choosing not to see. All the while keeping a secret about how she or he truly feels. While getting more and more lost on the inside. It's like the passion is dying. You have to speak the truth. You have to tell the truth. You have, this is the sword of truth. You know, the page of cups. This is about follow your heart. Hierophant reverse. This, this, there could be an end of a commitment. There could be, you know, somebody that is trying to. Maybe you're trying to stay committed to this. You're trying to do the right thing, but this really isn't the right thing. This is lack of faith, lack of believing in oneself. Now, with the Hierophant and the High Priestess both reversed, somebody here is not listening to their intuition, their inner guide. Intuition, inner guide, they're both reversed. Not listening at all, and that's the damn truth, okay? 
keeping it in, you know, keeping your true feelings on the inside. <coughs> I gotta get a drink, I'm sorry. All the while, seeing, seeing it real clear. You know what you gotta do, but refusing, refusing, okay? Maybe you don't want to deal with any legal issues. Maybe you, you're scared of, of a divorce if you're married. But there's a div it looks like there's a divorce on, or a split on the horizon. Because you deserve love. I think that you've had some really good intentions in the love arena with somebody. But now they're making you feel really, really lost on the inside. There's a lot of emptiness here. There is. And there's a lack of true commitment. You know, like you even want to be committed to this, but you are for some reason because you're trying to do the right thing. Now, you may have started a relationship with blind faith. And now it's not going so well. Maybe there was an immature, impulsive offer of love. That doesn't really lead to anything happy and, and truly committed, you know. Maybe it was just, you know, a false offer. Very immature. There's some immature energies here, okay. Pages are immature. You see it, you know it, but choose to keep the veil on. That's all there is to it. You may have a choice between two options, okay? You do have a choice between, you have to make a decision, you have a choice between two options, two people. One of, them, one of them is more financially secure and the other is more about love. So the other one is more stable and secure, you know, as far as tangible goes. You know, this person has their shit together a little bit better than the other one as far as financially goes, whatever. The other person is more loving, kind, and caring. One person can provide for you more securely and the other can provide for you more lovingly. You have, you have to make a choice. Money, love, choice. You may have a choice between an earth sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. But there is one situation in which things are really, really chaotic. Ah, clinging to the past. Somebody is clinging to the memories of the past. And, you know, right now things are unbalanced because the past is still a factor. Your memories of love are still there. They have not been released. They have not been let go of. That's what this is. Ah, ah, this is the devil. This is Capricorn. This is, you know, a strong, strong connection that hasn't been broken yet. That's all this, that's what this is. Now, this doesn't have to be a Capricorn. It could be anybody, but this is the devil. This is a... This is a, 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 you know, the chains are still, you're still chained to something else. Action is needed. You need to take the lead. You need to be the boss. You need to dominate this situation. Could be dealing with an Aries as well. This is about bringing structure back to your life after being in a chaotic, disorganized unbalanced situation you take back control perhaps with someone from your past I don't know remember what I said at the beginning this reading may not be for you ooh ah 
seven of swords. Somebody's not telling the truth, and that's that is this that's serious shit right here. The somebody is not they're keeping a huge secret. There's no doubt about it. There's a secret. Somebody's keeping a secret about where their heart really lies. This is lies. Thinking they're getting away with it, thinking they're pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. There's deception here, there's lies, there's sneaky, shady behavior. You know, there could be a third party situation and it's, it's, time, to, it's time to get over it. It's time to get over the, the hurt, maybe forgiveness is needed so that you can move on. It's time to heal, it's time to let go of sorrow. It's time to speak your truth. Take action, take action, take, take action. Head in the direction that is going to heal your heart. That is going to bring back structure to your life. Head in that direction. Head in the direction. This, is, this, this guy, he's usually on the horse and he's charging in. That's head in the direction of what is going to bring back the most structure in your life. The, the, whatever connection that it is that you are so bound to. Still, there's no closure yet. That's why there's emptiness. Somebody needs to take action. Maybe apologize. Maybe you're waiting for apology from somebody. But there's definitely, this, this page of coins is somebody that, in reverse, I mean, we have it twice now. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, whatever, whatever sign it is. But there's a lack of integrity. There's a lack of... of a focus and concentration. It's like somebody may have had a wandering eye and acted immaturely and caused a little bit of insecurity within you. And now, you know, I feel like there's a lot of dissatisfaction in your life. This is dissatisfaction over something that still needs closure still there's still some hurt going on around this you have somebody that's better suited for you you do but right now you're in a you're in a you're in a situation that is unrealistic and dissatisfying right now you are in a situation that is unrealistic and you need to speak the truth instead of holding it in which you are holding it in there's 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 Somebody, this in many decks, the Seven of Swords has a mask on. Big masks here, seriously. Somebody seriously needs to, to own up to the truth here. You do have some uh, somebody that is better suited for you. But right now you're in a situation that is unrealistic. And you need to take the lead in some situation. Oh, but you're but you're holding on to something that is dead, not allowing it to to end. That's holding on to something that is dead, a dead end. You're holding on to it, resisting the change because it's gonna hurt. But you need to know what you're worth. This is for a man or a woman. Your beautiful soul. You don't have to be involved in the wrong opportunities. Now, you have somebody, if you, if you are a man, you have a beautiful soul around you. This could be a Taurus or a Libra, could be anybody else, but this is a, this is a person that is very abundant. If you are a woman, this is who you need to become, a person that does not chase people or opportunities. People and opportunities chase her because she knows what she's worth. She walks in purpose. She does not settle. She doesn't settle. She cuts out the bullshit. She doesn't deal with unrealistic situations. So somebody needs to go through an awakening. Somebody needs to wake up, stop hanging around wherever they're at. That's the hangman, it says awakening, but... It's getting old. It is getting it is getting old. This hanging around with the wrong situation. Yeah, it's bringing you enlightenment. It is. It is bringing you enlightenment. It's teaching you some things. It is. 
but it is getting old. And it's time to look at this from a new perspective, from the real perspective, without the veil. Maybe you're hanging on to an unrealistic situation from somebody from the past, and it needs closure. I do see that closure is needed in some situation. <laughs> two of coins, two of coins. We have it twice, both reversed. You are dealing with a very unharmonious, unbalanced situation. That's a player. Somebody that is such a freaking mess that it's bringing you down. Now we have the hermit twice reversed. A lot of, a lot of repeating. So you're going to repeat cycles until you learn a, a lesson. And that's what you resist persists. And have you ever heard, uh, I, I posted a quote the other day, evolve or repeat. Evolve or repeat. You have a lot of repeating cards here. Exactly as they were. Okay, we have the page of coins, the page of coins. We have the hermit, we have the hermit. We have the two of coins, the two of coins. I mean, come on now. Repeat, repeat, repeat. You want to keep repeating, repeating the same cycle all because you don't want to be alone? This is fear. Big time fear of growing old alone. So I'm going to stay with anybody even if it's not love because I don't see any love in these cards. None. We don't have the Ace of Cups. We don't have the Two of Cups. We don't have the Ten of Cups. We don't have the Lover's card. We don't. The, the Marriage card right here is reversed. We don't have the Four of Wands. There's no love in these cards. But there's security, right? There's security. And you want love. We do have the Page of Cups. But this is the most immature love of all, the Page of Cups. It is. It's immature love. It's, it's uh, a crush. holding on to something that is dead. Nothing solid, stable, secure is going to come out of it. Nothing long-term, nothing solid by holding on to something that is unrealistic, by not taking that, putting those swords down, letting that veil drop. I would rather be alone than settle for the wrong one. Once you take these down. But there's codependency issues here. I don't want to be alone. So I'll take whoever I can get. You have to become this person. And when you become this person, the right one will come into your life. Right now, I think you're involved in a third-party situation, whether it's, it's a lover, family member, whatever. You have two people on your mind. And you have, to, you have to decide which one you want in your future. Right now, you're not realizing that, you know, the future looks bright if you take action. You might have to turn your back on a situation that is, it's, is, go, there's no growth, okay? And wait, be patient for that right ship to arrive. Five of Cups, you have a new opportunity. You have an opportunity for the Two of Cups if you could just be patient. Again, the Three of Cups, there's a lot of threes here too. Many, you do, you have two people on your mind. One of them is suited for you. One of them is not. But you don't want to hurt anybody. I see that as well. You're trying not. To, you know that you have another opportunity. But you're trying not to see it. You're trying not to acknowledge it. For one, you're protecting your heart right now. You're in protection mode. But you're only deceiving yourself by staying in a situation that is not love.
Now, I don't know. This will not resonate with everybody, okay? All right. Somebody could be hanging on to a past love when they have a new opportunity, you know, looking them in the face. Some of you want to go back to your past love, but you're with the wrong person right now. You know, it goes both ways. Oh, this is a jumper. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Take action right now, please, so that this reading can change. Go get what you deserve. Go after the one that you truly love that could lead to true love. On the bottom. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Please. Don't settle. Talk to you next time.